My name is Sarah Morton and I run a holiday let business on the North Norfolk coast. We moved to North Norfolk um, around about four years ago with our children. We wanted a sort of better quality of life um, having moved out of London via Hertfordshire. We basically found a property which was on a really nice big plot of land within Woodland. Um, and the house itself had a separate outbuilding, which we weren't really sure what we were going to do with it. Initially we thought we'd do it up and just let family and friends uh, stay in it, sort of an additional accommodation. Um, but as I was going through the renovation process, I realised that I really wanted to do it to a high standard. Um, and there's lots of sort of materials that I really wanted to use on it that were sort of fairly expensive. Um, and in order for me to be able to get that through, we decided that we would um, turn the property into a sort of Airbnb. Um, and from there, it's grown to a sort of a, a branded holiday let um, together with uh, also hosting photographic shoots. We are situated right on the North Norfolk coast um, in an area of outstanding natural beauty. Blackwood itself is set within National Trust Woodland um, and we're about a mile from the beach. Um, it's just a really beautiful part of the world and specifically part of the coast. We've got gorgeous sort of white sandy beaches, cliffs at this end of North Norfolk and then sort of marshland further around towards Blakeney and Wells and, uh, and Holcombe and Burnham. Um, and it's just a really beautiful place to live, lovely place to raise your children. Um, and plenty of people love to come here on holiday too. For the exterior, I was really inspired by Scandinavian architecture um, and I love the process of um, charring wood, so shusu divan, which is a Japanese method of torching um, wood to make it sort of last longer and it also makes it uh, fire retardant and insect repellent and all of these kind of things. And I just really love the look of a, a black cabin set in woodland. Um, so, so yeah, definitely I was heavily inspired by Scandinavian architecture on that front. When I started looking to the interiors, we actually went into lockdown. So I wasn't able to go and sort of get any real influence from anywhere physically. So I spent a lot of time at that point, um, again on Pinterest, but also on Instagram, and really started to get inspired by Australian and Californian interiors and architecture. And I take huge inspiration from kind of beach houses in the Byron Bay area of Australia and um, also uh, sort of Californian houses, um, beach houses specifically. Um, and I just really love that kind of light, airy feel, but whilst bringing in earthy tones and textures. Latterly, I've also been really heavily influenced by um, sort of a trip I took a long time ago to California, um, to Joshua Tree Desert area. Um, and I'm really enjoying seeing a lot of um, interiors influences from there coming through actually now on Instagram. Um, and I'm trying to sort of incorporate that into the Blackwood experience for my guests. The renovation process was interesting, uh, mostly because uh, we broke ground in February 2020, two or three weeks before we went into lockdown. So um, we had literally gutted um, the building. So the, the existing building that was on that was on the site was actually um, an old uh, garage car shed with an office above it. We managed to get the demolition phase in, so they completely demolished it, took out all the windows and all, all of the doors, and then we went into this national lockdown. So. It was very difficult for a start to get people on site and to sort of continue the process. We had problems with getting certain materials, which I'm sure everybody who was renovating during that time found, you know, just simple things like plaster um, and plasterboard were really difficult to get hold of. Um, but we, we made it work, we compromised and we made it work and um, we did get there in the end.
I had seen Corsten um, in magazines and it was really a brand that was definitely on my mind. I've always felt that having ugly switches and sockets um, can completely ruin the look of um, you know, a high-end home. And I wanted something that actually stood out. I didn't want, I wasn't trying to hide the switches and sockets. I wanted to actually make a feature of them. I'd seen Corsten in various magazines and then obviously spending a lot of time on Pinterest and Instagram during lockdown when I was trying to source everything. Um, I was seeing it pop up more and more and I absolutely loved the bronze finish. I couldn't find it anywhere else, so I sent off for some samples. Um, and yeah, to cut a long story short, I immediately fell in love with the finish of them and it just works so well. You know, I have got light walls everywhere, light walls and light wood, and that kind of dark browny bronze just pops against everything. So I just felt that it worked you know, fantastically well. And also the quality was just way above anything else that I'd looked at. So I was really happy to use the Corsten products. I actually specifically was looking for something that, that really was a, you know, a, a beautiful feature within the house as opposed to just shrinking into the background. Um, I think so many people can't find what they like, so they're still using white sockets against white walls to try and hide them. And actually, something that pretty actually needed to be a feature. I've used um, not just light woods, but also some kind of charred dark woods inside, which go with the exterior of the building really well. And I think that the bronze sockets really sort of set that off as well. So I just think overall, um, yeah, I wasn't looking for something that blended in. I was looking for a really beautiful feature for the interiors. One of the things that really drew me to Corsten once I started to get to the stage of um, ordering in samples was just the real sort of feeling of quality once you have the product in your hand, the, the toll switches, the lovely noise that that makes when you flip it up and down. Um, the door handles, I've never actually felt anything that had such amazing weight to it, it's actually solid um, and they just feel really substantial in your hand and actually something I'm really excited about now after being open for sort of almost 18 months is the really beautiful patina that's developing on the door handles in particular and I can just see it coming in on the toll switches um, that just gives them a really lovely uh, sort of slightly aging feeling that um, just complements the whole building so well. Um, I just, yeah, absolutely love it. I am absolutely an attention to detail girl. I think it's virtually impossible to achieve something that has a true high-end look without being absolutely pedantic about every single little detail, right down to the hinges, um, which you do see, I see, there may be some people that don't see it, but you know, for me, it was a really big thing that all of the door handles, the hinges, the, the sockets and the switches, they all sort of pulled together and gave a really cohesive look. In terms of what's next for Blackwood, we would absolutely love to um, roll out the brand. Um, I mean, I can't believe I'm saying this, uh, from, from the point we were at two years ago, but I've enjoyed the process of creating something really beautiful that people really do love so much that we would love to do a second one um, and who knows in the future, maybe even a, a third. I really feel like I've honed my interior style over the last couple of years um, and certainly Corsten would be a part of that in the future. I'm also itching to use some of the different uh, finishes in a different project. Whilst I wait to get my hands on Blackwood 2, uh, I am doing some renovations in my own home um, and I'm planning on using some Corsetown products for that, certainly replacing the knobs, the doorknobs and the pulls and all that kind of thing to sort of really bring that, bring that up to the same kind of standard um, as, as Blackwood. I definitely think that with a with a really high-end um, property like Blackwood you really do need to think about the smallest fixtures and fittings and um, it can make such a huge difference and I think with the Corsten products 
I really have achieved that, that, that sort of level of quality that I was looking for. And um, I would love to have a continuing relationship with Causton in Blackwood too, and in my own house and going forward from here on.